Have you ever wondered what mysteries are hidden in the vast cosmos? Renowned American physicist Michio Kaku has made a discovery that promises to change everything. And this discovery has been made possible by the legendary James Webb telescope. This device has revealed truly something revolutionary that times as we understand it does not exist. It is about to embark on a space-time conundrum that will shake your perception of the world. The James Webb Telescope is unlocking secrets from the farthest corners of the universe thanks to its advanced infrared technology becoming the ultimate time machine for exploring the past. Join us on this journey to discover how this telescope has changed the conventional theories, redefining our understanding of time as we know it. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Have you ever wondered how the amazing resolution and sensitivity of the James Webb Space Telescope make it possible to identify objects of extreme age and fainteness, even beyond Hubble's capability? We are referring to distant galaxies and celestial bodies of the early universe, those elusive entities that have been playing an epic cosmic game of hide and seek. In short, the James Webb Telescope is assisting us in painstaking reconstruction of the immense stellar puzzle of the universe, piece by piece, through its exceptional detection capabilities in the infrared spectrum. Imagine yourself in an art gallery, browsing through immense works captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. These images are breathtaking, with distant galaxies glowing on the cosmic canvas. Among astronomers and cosmologists, however, there is a sense of puzzlement. The common expressions heard is that this is totally unexpected, which has shaken the foundations of their understanding of the universe. Although official reports have not divulged much about it, the real challenge lies in a previously accepted theory, the Big Bang Theory. The assumption being called is the idea that our universe originated through a massive explosion some 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanding like a giant balloon ever since. This theory has been central to our understanding of cosmology for decades. However, new observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope has cast uncertainty on its validity, generating an uproar in the scientific community. We can almost imagine Alison Kickpartrick, a senior astronomer at the University of Kansas, questioning her entire career as she lies in bed. Why so much surprise? The reason for this bewilderment lies in the fact that galaxies captured by the James Webb do not behave according to what the Big Bang hypothesis would predict. They are too small, excessively uniform, and appear to be on an age incompatible with this theory. Moreover, their numbers are surprisingly high. To simplify these discrepancies, we imagine the universe as an expanding globe. According to conventional theory, galaxies should not appear smaller as they move away from us. At a certain point, they should begin to appear larger, since their light would have had to travel from when they were closer. This unusual but crucial shift in the conceptions of an expanding universe is evident in the James Webb images, where galaxies appear to maintain a similar size to those closer to us. In reality, the conventional theory may be making several mistakes, surprising as it may seem. Recent research has indicated that the Big Bang theory is an error in 16 of its predictions, which is a significant number. The only prediction that is accurately verified concerned the abundance of uterus, a type of hydrogen. But that is only the beginning. The theory we have long relied on has also been predicting twice the amount of helium and 20 times the amount of lithium that we actually find in the universe. In addition, the Big Bang Theory faces challenges in attempting to explain the enormous structures observed in the cosmos. According to this theory, these structures are simply too large to have formed in the time since the beginning of the universe. In addition, the theory has difficulties in trying to predict the density of matter in the universe. And here comes an interesting surprise. Those supposed asymmetries that were thought 
not to exist in the cosmic microwave background actually turn out to be real. This adds up in an unexpected twist to the cosmic narrative. All of this leads us to the James Webb Space Telescope, an amazing technological feat that may hold the answers to these cosmic contradictions. These discrepancies may seem like minor details in the vast panorama of cosmic knowledge we have accumulated, but it's important to know that they are far from insignificant. Each small error amounts to a missing piece of our cosmic puzzle, preventing the creation of a complete picture of the nature of the universe. These abnormalities raise significant questions about everything we thought we knew about the origin and development of the universe. They challenge our understanding of cosmic structures and the very structure of space-time, which has a fundamental impact on our understanding of the universal expansion, gravitational waves, dark matter, and even the ultimate fate of the universe. For example, if the density of matter turns out to be variable, this would modify our conception of how galaxies are created and developed, as well as our approach to the role of dark matter in this whole process. Similarly, unexpected discrepancies in the cosmic microwave background could impact our understanding of the initial conditions of the universe and its expansion. These inconsistencies even have implications for our very understanding of time, as they are closely linked to the evolution of the universe since the Big Bang. If we conclude that the Big Bang theory is not completely accurate, we would be faced with the need to reevaluate our perception of time, its flow, and its relationship to space. Discoveries of this nature could trigger a paradigm shift in our understanding of space-time, similar to what happened when Einstein presented his theory of relativity. We would be on the threshold of a new understanding of the cosmos, in which it would be necessary to recalibrate our cosmic clocks and redefine our coordinates in the cosmos. Apparently, the universe holds a few surprises in its bosom, don't you think? Have you ever wondered whether time as we conceive it is a tangible reality or simply a human construct that we use to discern the past from the present? It is an extremely complex question, but we invite you to join us in its exploration. There is a theory that time could be an illusion generated by our human memories. According to this theory, everything that has happened or will happen is happening right now. It is a truly amazing concept, isn't it? If we dwell deeper into this idea, we tend to think of time as something that flows invariably forward. However, here's the intriguing thing. The laws of physics do not require that time works differently if it moves forward or backward. The Big Crunch theory, for example, suggests that when the universe ceases its expansion and begins to contract, time could move backward. As the universe compresses, the temperature will increase, similar to a Big Bang in reverse. Now, what happens after the Big Crunch is a question that has puzzled many of us. Several theories raise the possibility that a new universe could arise from another Big Bang, while others suggest that our universe could reappear at another point, as if it were a cosmic bubble. There are even hypotheses that this cycle could repeat itself over and over again, giving rise to countless universes. The intriguing idea that time could be bidirectional, that is, that it can flow both forward and backward, has led some scientists to the bold conclusion that time, as we conceive of it, is actually a construct created by humans. They argue that we live in an interconnected space-time, a notion that finds support in Einstein's theory of relativity. Under this premise, all past, present, and future events occupy their respective coordinates in space-time, which unfolds in four dimensions. So, what does this imply for us? In essence, it suggests that everything has a reality as solid as the present moment, and that the past and the future exist somehow, somewhere in space-time. MIT physicist Max Tegmark expressed this concept eloquently by describing that we see our reality as a three-dimensional space where events occur in time, but in reality it is a four-dimensional space where everything just is. If this approach were true, then time would be revealed as an illusion, since nothing would undergo real challenge. 
past, present, and future would coexist constantly. Certainly, these ideas are profound and challenging, but they are fascinating to ponder, as they illustrate how magical and enigmatic the universe can be. Julian Barber, a British physicist, provides a unique perspective on time in our universe. His argument is based on the notion that reality is made up of a succession of discrete moments comparable to individual photographs in an album, with each image representing a unique instant. For Barber, our perception of the past is reduced to a construct that relies on the memory stored in our brain, raising the possibility that the notion of the past is, in essence, an illusion. Barber addresses this idea throughout his theories of space, in which each moment exists in a place within a vast landscape that he calls Plutonia. In Plutonia, each point represents a present, and this landscape is governed by precise mathematical rules that make it intrinsically timeless. This perspective is related to the renowned name of Albert Einstein, whose theory of space-time is fundamental to our current understanding of the universe. However, the implications of this theory and our understanding of it have raised significant questions. If Einstein's concept of space-time were to be proven incorrect at some point in time, would it be necessary to discard it altogether in pursuit of a more accurate understanding of the universe? We invite you to reflect on this question. Share your opinions in the comments. If you found the content interesting, don't forget to express your support by liking subscribing to the channel and activating notifications to receive future content. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one.